Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Gear Adam Slink. Please make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime in the day I upload. What do you guys think about gambling? Religiously, it's not good. It's highly condemned. I know that. But socially, it's where we are having some debate. But do you know you gamble every day? And I also gamble. 99% of the world total population gambles every day with their lives when they go to bed. When they wake up, they gamble. When they go to work, to school, they gamble. They invest their money, they gamble. They put their money in the bank, they gamble. They take loan, they gamble. They vote for one particular political party, they gamble. They vote for a president, they gamble. They vote, they vote for a local government chairman, they are gambling. Every day we gamble with everything around us. But it's only close to 10% that are, that are aware that they are actually gamble. And sometimes they put stake in it like they put money properties trust just to hand something back that is why you see some companies today are highly into gambling business and they are making billions in u.s dollars from this company if you take nigeria as an example even my backyard when i just move uh, let me say let me take a stroll from here you will see some few group of guys gambling with cards with rubber as a means of sport and sport is one of the most fastest way to gamble or sport raising basketball football most especially and football is one of the most popular one that you can gamble on ufc is also there boxing is also there well guys i'm about to make a very ridiculous decision I want to gamble with the sum of 1 million naira to the tune of 20 million naira. Of course, it's risk. When you gamble, it's risk. And we take risk every day. Risk, to me, is equal to gambling. And when you are gambling in sports, there is 99% chance, or let me say 90% chance is that you will lose your money. It's only a few percent guarantee that you will make more than what you have stake in that gambling bet in that bet or let me call it bet so guys uh well like i've said i'm about to make this decision and i will be taking you through it while i gamble so stay tuned so guys let's get straight into it well uh, i will be doing this my experiment using bet ninja and i want to make this clear this is not a paid promotion so i don't want you guys to be like oh i'm be paid to promote bet ninja no i'm just trying to do this experiment using bet ninja uh i i was told that it was uh, one of the top betting sites in uh in nigeria so let's get straight into it well let me go to england uh, the premier league Premier League is better. Let me go to England Premier League. I will have you see all the matches here. So I will let me just click on the uh, Fulham versus Lead. Uh, let me put uh, Fulham to win Lead. Then uh, of course uh, there's uh, Tottenham versus Aston Villa. I'm going to put over 1.7 for them. Then uh, West Ham Arsenal. I will put Arsenal to win and. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, Mass City, Leicester City, of course. Let me put uh, over 6.8. Then uh, Chelsea versus West Brom, also over 6.8. Then uh, Newcastle, Tottenham. Then let me put uh, Newcastle to win Tottenham, which, which is highly impossible to But uh, I think if I do this right, because uh, he has to do it right uh, what you know you have to do with your brain but uh, there's no well let us move forward let me go to spain and uh i have a real madrid here that was uh clitor vigo i'm going to put real madrid to win or let me just put it over or no not under 2.3 uh, let me go for real madrid to win then sevilla i'm going to sevilla to to win Then uh, I'll go for this Barcelona with the risk. I'll go for over 6.1.6. So I think I have total of total of uh, 844 hot. So if I place 1 million naira as bet 
one to three one to three one million naira my bonus would be one two three one two three two hundred and eleven million naira more than two hundred and eleven million naira that would be my winning bonus but uh, if i take it up to 20 million naira 20 million naira then my bonus winning will be one two three one two three one two three over four billion naira well uh, should i go ahead and place it well guys i'm not i won't even try that well though somebody actually tried it though that's the main purpose of this video then i began to wonder this thing has to do with persistence this thing there's no black magic into it uh it's a game of lose or you gain and when you are addicted to it you find out that you lost you always lose a lot of money so that's why it's always advisable whenever you are gambling use the money that you know very well that you won't even feel if you lost the money like money you can easily give away all those pauses came if you invest your money it usually like that don't invest your entire life savings into any bank it's not advisable that bank might crash same thing as gambling don't invest your entire life savings because you don't know you might not even win in fact the the percent of you winning is like out of 100 percent it's like five percent you have 95 percent of losing your money it's only five percent possibility that you might win anything but meanwhile guys check out this man his name according to the news i'm reading from leader ekg it says staff who had lately stole 20 million naira companies fund to play sports betting is arrested by nigeria efcc check out his face guys this guy literally took the company that he works for embezzled their money and used the entire money to play uh, to play sporting bed sporting bed this guy well uh, let me just read a few of it according to according to sir uh, a staff of uh, protect and gambly has been arrested by operating of uh, efcc for allegedly embezzling over 20 million naira company fund to play sports betting his name is Emmanuel Eze, a 35 years old head of sales for Protec and Gamble. Was arrested along K line area of, of Sweet Housing Estate in Oyo, Aquaibon State, following petition. The petition alleged that Eze used his position as the head of sales to supply goods worth over 20 million naira to customer and convert same for his personal use according to the complaint the suspect between march 2020 and january 2021 so good worth the said amount and fraudulently collected monies from various customers using his personal account rather than the company's account investigation into the matter revealed that the suspect has se severe gambling problem the suspect has severe gambling problem as he spent over four million placing bet on daily basis with almost nothing to show for it it was discovered it was also discovered that between july and december 20 the suspect received over 18 million from one of the company's major customers for goods which were not fully delivered according to the customer she suspected the balance of goods worth over eight million. Well, check out his face. That is why you can see the face. He, he has the face of an addicted uh, person when it comes to gambling. Well, crazy. So you guys thought I was actually going to gamble. The highest money that I have, well, actually I have placed gam I've played gamble before. I've, I've be, I, I, I won bet using uh, on spot. And uh, the first time I did it, gambling on sports was, uh, let me say, uh, about seven years ago. And honestly, I placed the best of 200 naira and I won 5,000 naira. It was a very slim one. And uh, 
no it's not something that you should be addicted to no if you are addicted to it sorry it's going to ruin your life it's definitely going to ruin your life so no betting is it advisable no but if you are willing to take the risk why not but don't just try as much as possible not to be addicted to it like i've said before in our lives we bet we gamble every day we go to sleep we gamble we go to work everything about us is gambling we go to work every day knowing for a fact that they're going to pay us at the end of the month we are gambling yeah everything about us is gambling so that's it thank you very much it's your boy again yeah, adam sling and this is my new channel ninja boy please i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do give me a thumb up like this video and invite your friends guys share it and make sure you subscribe have a wonderful day guys see you too soon bye